Hi everyone, welcome to JustFeg Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information on things happening around the world and you are in the right place. Please click the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon next to it so you can be notified for an update on any published news. The Independent National Electoral Commission INEC on Thursday, July 18, produced some of the documents which the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal called for on Wednesday, July 17. Recall that the five members panel of the tribunal, led by Justice Mohammed Gaba, had ordered INEC to produce the dem documents on Thursday, called based on the request of the People's Democratic Party and its presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. The tribunals moved followed the complaints by the petitioner that the subpoenas issued and served on INEC chairman Mohamed Yakubu and the commission's residential electoral commissioner in Sanfara State had not been complied with. Though the tribunal adjourned the case till Friday, July 19, the counsel for the PDP and Atiku, Chris Uche San, attended the Thursday proceedings scheduled for other petitions filed by other parties to ensure INEX complaints to ensure INEC compliance with the order. Uche informed the bench of his intention in court on Thursday reacting. Justice Gaba asked for an update from INEX lawyer Eunice Hughesman, who informed the tribunal that the document had been substantially produced. Usman said it is very tedious task, but we have to obey the court order. The tribunal then promised to deal with the issues when it returned to deliver its ruling. Atiku and the PDP, who are challenging the outcome of the last presidential election before the tribunal claimed to have won the election by virtue of some results they got from a certain server, into which they said INEC transmitted the results of the election. However, at the resumptions of the proceeding of the tribunal on Thursday morning, July 16, the lawyer to, to President Buhari, Alex Izanyo, which is the son, played a video where INEC chairman said his commission could not transmit results electronically because of inadequate communication facilities or coverage in the country and the challenge of cybersecurity. In 2019 election, Article adds to court to contest election results. Can he win? Hmm. That's a question. Can Atiku win? What are your what are your opinion about this? Kindly put your comments at the comment section below. Thank you all.